let me tell y'all what happened. I was on my, I got to church and I was running a little short on time and my son wanted me to bring him his hair sponge. Now, he was cutting into my time because I was close to the limit. I got there, it was five minutes to service and, and at Agape, they have a meditation service where they close the doors right when meditation begins and they don't let you in because they don't want to interrupt the people who are already in meditation mode. So if you're not in there by 11 o'clock, if you're at the uh, late service, you know, the 11 last service, you will not get in. You have to go to the overflow room. And who wants to go to the overflow room? So anywho, I always try to make sure I get there on time for meditation because it really puts me into the mode to receive the service. Like it calms my spirits down. And it, it, it just puts me in a place, a receptive place. It's a receptive place. It's kind of like when you go to church and there's choirs or like you get there for praise and worship you want to be there for praise and worship like praise and worship it gets you in the mood it lets you get you know you, you were rushing at church or whatever you just it helps clear your slate and let you forget all the outside things so that you just can receive the service and that's what meditation does so yeah i'm serious about my my meditation so it was getting close it was like 11 57 and i'm calling him like where are you come get your sponge so I don't miss meditation. He's like, I'm. We're pulling in the parking lot. I'm like, where? Because I want to give it, give it to him, so I can, you know, run off to service. So it was like 11:58 or 59. So I'm like, where are you? And I finally see him, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna leave the sponge right here. You know, the little hair, little twisty sponge thing. And I'm like, I'm late now. So, I mean, I can't really blame anybody. But anyways, back to it. So I'm running. I'm running to go to meditation and I see the lady with the door in her hand and she's going to close the door and I'm just running for I'm running for dead life. I was doing the get out challenge run child. I was I was running. Why did I why did I trip and fall and hit I just splatted on the ground. Cell phone went one way leg went the other way arm went one way and i just bit the dust it was like slow motion when i was falling i'm like i am falling right now but i am not falling but i'm really falling like i it it didn't click until i hit the ground and i just laid there <laughs> i was like i just wanted to go to meditation and someone was like you have to let her in meditation they didn't care they closed that door right there with me on the ground and they continued meditation. A couple of people came and picked me up off the ground. They was checking to see if I was okay. And I was just looking at that little door close. And I was not in meditation. And I was so mad. So I went to go hunt down my son and show him my little scars. I was like, look at my head. Look at my leg. I can't show y'all right now because I'm driving. And it's already bad enough that I'm recording and driving. But I, I, I got a good view of what's going on around me. We fall down, but we get up. But yes, I was like, it's all your fault that I miss meditation. Like this, 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 blah, blah, blah. I was mad. So anywho, I ended up getting a little bite to eat and sitting down with uh, the other, uh, his, his friend's mother that came. And I, I was a little, I was a little disgruntled. I had a bad attitude. Now, I'm typically not that moody person, but I was in my mood, honey, because I miss meditation. So, anyways, I got into another conversation with the, another. We were talking about, you know, raising teenagers and just going back and forth about our, our tribulations and on our discoveries and, and what methods that we're using and what techniques work and don't work. And then someone joined in the conversation. And she added a lot of enlightenment. And it was so funny. We were talking about colleges and we were talking about what school they want to go to. And, and she was telling me her daughter wants to go to, uh, I, I don't know if it's okay to say the school or not, but I'll just say it. She was like, yeah, my daughter wants to go to Santa Barbara. And I was like, oh man, that's a party school because that's where my son wants to go. And I was like, they, I was like, they, he's trying to, I said, they over there trying to go to the school with the kids that we trying to get them away from. And the lady next to us was like, well, actually, I graduated from Santa Barbara. And she was like, we were like, oops. But anyway, she added a lot of enlightenment to that conversation. She went about, she said she graduated in the 60s. And, I, and she said it was, you know, 
she she didn't know it as a party school but she was giving us a little history about the education systems and how um, you know she was just talking about when she grew up everybody was into getting an education and this 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 and this this that and I was telling her how nowadays it's you know people are, are kind of eliminating the idea of going to school for something and they're more pushing either towards entrepreneurship or being self-taught and, and when she was like well you know it's people don't realize it takes a lot of work to be an entrepreneur and I was like you're absolutely correct and that conversation trailed onto another conversation we were just talking about self-discipline writing reading just all these different things that was great food for thought and I love to talk if you know me I'm talking right now right but I love to have a good sounding board and I love to get different perspectives from different people of different backgrounds cultures um, different age groups, uh, just everything. I just love to hear different perspectives, and it was it was a very enlightening conversation, and it gave me the same gratification that I got from med from meditation that I usually get from meditation. So I was actually pleased that I was able to have that conversation, and it, and, it, and I and I felt a little foolish for getting so upset about missing meditation and taking my anger out on my dearest little son and just being a, a moody a patootie moody bad mood but just being a little just have being a little Debbie Downer and just being all emo because I fell and it was embarrassing low-key but I you know it was just it was just an aha epiphany type moment and I'm just thankful for that so with all that being said it's kind of like when you're running late somewhere and you have to slow yourself down and be like, let me stop rushing because everything happens for a reason. And everything does happen for a reason. And we got to stop getting so bent out of shape and so, like, caught up into, into the little things. Are just We got to live in the present. We got to live in the moment. We can't get mad about what didn't happen or worry about what's going to happen. But just enjoy what's happening at that moment and just soak it up just live in the presence like you you gain so much when you enjoy what it is that you're already around and next time if I want to make it to meditation then I myself need to leave early and I was running late I'm not gonna you know I can I need to get there five to ten minutes early and if you're not there when I need you to be there then hey you're lost but I was already cutting it close and then so that made a chain of reaction because the only time we get mad when there's traffic on the freeway or if somebody cut us off or someone's driving slow or they didn't make that that yellow light and now we stuck at the red light is when we're running late or when we're in a rush so don't be in a rush don't be in a rush don't be so quick to be don't be easily angered over small things things are so you know over small things and just prepare, have, just be more just have things in order prepare, leave on time, and just be happy, don't, don't, don't ruin the moment, don't, don't get mad, don't, don't be a, don't be a Debbie Downer, don't, don't have a bad attitude, don't be that person, I was that person this morning, and yeah, and I did apologize, I apologized to everybody, I just apologized you know passing the buck and getting so upset over something so small that's all i wanted to share